What's up everyone? Clayton Younger here from AndroidAuthority.com. Today I've prepared a simple tutorial on how to take a screenshot on the Samsung Galaxy S4 smartphone. Sit tight for the instructions on how. Okay, many of our viewers will probably know how to capture the screen on their phone, but for those of you who just got the Samsung Galaxy S4 or are new to Android devices, sit tight because we're going to be covering two methods on how to capture the screen. So whenever you find yourself wanting to capture the screen, simply hold the power button and the home button simultaneously until you get the confirmation that the screen was captured. Method 1 is as simple as that. Now on to method 2. So right from the home screen, we're going to jump in and enable the palm motion. We'll access our settings menu, and then we'll click the My Device folder. Under there, we're going to click Motions and Gestures, where we'll access the Palm Motion option. And we're going to want to make sure that that's activated. You can slide left and right for the capture screen, and also palm controls to mute and pause music. But to capture the screen, you simply put your palm on the display and slide left to right. You can then save your screenshot and access it right in the notifications bar, where you can make various edits as well as view your other screenshots. Edits include cropping, color changing, and you can even draw on your photo to share a certain aspect of it with your friends. You have various pen tools as well as eraser and many colors to choose from, in fact. I'll go ahead and choose red so you can make sure this stands out. You can then save your image and share it on various social networking sites. So let's say you're browsing your favorite website and you stumble upon an article that you want to save for later or perhaps share with your friends. Simply place your palm on the left of the screen and slide right. Then when you get the visual confirmation that the screenshot is saved, you can access it again from the notification bar. From there, you'll be directed to the folder containing all of your recent screenshots. This time I'll make some color balance tweaks. Similar to Instagram, you can run your photo through various filters and make changes to the color, brightness, and saturation of this photo. Now we can choose to save these changes or discard them. I'm going to go ahead and discard them. And like I said, from there we can share them on our various social networks. That's it folks. Have fun saving all of your screenshots on your Samsung Galaxy S4. And thanks again for watching. This is Clayton with Android Authority.